Hello guys, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and solution architect for ServiceNow. In today's session, we are going to learn how do we create ServiceNow personal developer account. So let me show you how do we create personal developer instance in five simple steps. It's very pretty much simple. Just if you follow these all five simple steps, you can create your own account for practice purpose. And you have to remember one more important thing. When you joined in any organization as a fresher or experience, no need to create any service now accounts. Accounts are already there. Setup is already there. Start your practice directly over there. No need to create any account. But here we are going to create a new account only for practice purpose just to can keep in your mind okay let's begin to create personal developer instance in this case please follow the documentation while create service now account service now is providing a full fetch free account for practice purpose in this case everyone need to follow the standard url to create service now account the url is https colon double slash developer dot service now dot com Okay, let's begin. So let me show you how do we create personal developer instance in five simple steps. First one, go navigate to the browser and you type https colon double slash developer dot service now dot com. Click on enter. Everyone need to use the standard URL to create a service now account. If you have already created service now account, Directly we can sign in into your account. But when you want to create new service now account, simply click on sign up and start building. This is the first step, guys. Click on sign up and start building, and you will get that developer program service now sign up page. So here we have to provide the details of the user. My name is Srinivas. This is my first name, last name, yes, now. 55 is the last name you can provide your details guys and you need to provide a gmail id to verify the account in my case i had already created gmail account also using the existing one but in your case you can create new gmail account that gmail account you can use to create service now account don't use any existing account in case if you use your existing gmail account it may create a lot of disturbance new account is always best practice in my case i had already created new gmail account that account i'm going to using right now my account address is srinivas is now 55 at the rate gmail.com and then come to country please select your country my country is india and then set the password for your account confirm as well your password should be followed all the conditions one uppercase one lowercase eight characters one special character one number and symbol also enable the checkbox i am not a robot and once again go to that i have read enable the checkbox i have read all terms and conditions also let me sign up once we submit all your details so then you will get the one message that message can say Thank you. A service now ID has been created with this Gmail address. This application requires you to verify the email account. Please check your email for a link to verify the account. After verification now, then only you can log into the account. So this mail will be valid only for one day. Within one day, like 24 hours, you have to verify the Gmail account. Otherwise, it may expire. Now let me log into the Gmail account. Second step. Please log in into your given Gmail address. Navigate to Gmail login. Login into your Gmail address. Add another account. My Gmail address is Srinivas S now double five. Next and provide the password of your Gmail account. Click on enter and click on not now. After submitting the details, Please log in to given Gmail account so then you can open the service now ID. You will get the ID. Right? Sometimes you will get immediately, sometimes it will take time also. But we have to wait with patience. 
anyway in my case i got that link right open that to verify your service now id just click on verify email or verify link right so in my case let me click on verify email second step is login into your gmail account third step is verify the email so i have successfully verified the account then it will open the window hello sinewas help us to in your experience do you code yes i want code i need a developer oriented ide please select first box click on next you are ready to create something great what best describes your job responsibilities i want to explore more about designing development administration part as well don't select other guys not required once again you have to enable the check box i have read all terms and conditions click on finish setup fourth step also successfully completed last but not least click on start building i have successfully created service now account but how do we get practice enrollment where we do practice you need to request for the enrollment right that is called instance technically we are calling as instance how do we request for service now instance simply click on start building or click on request instance in my case i am clicking on start building we are processing your request this will only take few seconds it won't take much time sometime it will take 2 to 3 minutes sometime it will activate immediately now setting up our instance so this account is dedicated to only shinivas similarly everyone you have to create your own account for practice purpose this is completely free of cost you can use the same account for lifetime you can create the account once same account you can use for lifetime okay now my account is ready to use when this button is highlighting with blue color click on start building now it is going to login service now instance wait few more seconds and one more thing you have to remember guys if you are not use this account regularly so after 24 hours it will goes to sleep mode when you want to use the same account tomorrow or day after tomorrow some other time okay so first of all we have to wake up the instance it won't expire so it will goes to sleep mode so when you want to use same account some other time first of all you have to wake up the instance then again it will be highlighting with the blue color like a start building when you click on the start building then again it will open the instance so i am first time logging into my account right so instantly we have to click on next 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 got it and click on all pin out application navigator on left side this is about service now developer instance technically we are calling as pdi personal developer instance this personal developer instance mainly used to explore more about service now platform and who are new learners try to learn something about service now so they must be create new service now account even the people who are working in the project real time employees also they can use service now personal developer instance for practice purpose okay so if you compare with personal developer instance and real time instance let us assume this is personal developer instance this is like a real time instance both are same there is no difference between developer instance and a real time instance in real time instance you can see only few applications which are subscribed by your client but here you can see all the application for practice purpose this is about account creation in service now okay so if you want to log out from the account or instance click on the log out and similarly if you want to log out your account also you can log out from account as well so when you want to release the instance and when you want to set the password we can set the password also and but when you want to log in the same account once again navigate to developer.servicenow.com you same url if you want to create new service now account click on sign up and start building if you want login into existing account click on sign in button just you have to provide your mail address my mail is srinivasasnow55 at gmail.com and provide the account password first of all you have to login into service now account then you can navigate to the instance if you are not using this account regularly every 24 hours automatically it will goes to sleep mode as i said earlier right so when you want to use same account so here we can see the wake up button when your instance is in sleep mode 
first you have to wake up the instance so that wake up button is highlighting with the orange color so again uh, it will show in that blue color okay so click on start building you will navigate to your account next one so which version i have created guys account has been created so when you create the service now account by default you will get some example data also like a demo data demo data is really very useful to understand about the application life cycle and state model so you can see a lot of demo data further classes i can show you what about demo data and importance of it let's move to the instance see this is about my service now instance called practice environment how we come to know the version of service now how can you determine this is the specific version guys so just to go to the filter navigator stats dot do click on enter you will get all the information about the instance so the current version of service now is the like a vancouver but it has allotted vota version i think vancouver is not available at this moment that's why it has allotted vota version there is no difference between vota and vancouver maximum both are same common components are very similar right only new application may be different so this is about how we come to the version of service now this is very very important in entry also so this is called statics application this static application will maintain all the details about the version of service now like database and version name when it was released semaphore sets threaded memory and which database which is like it is managing by default and service now my sql so this is about service now account creation so it's very pretty much simple i shown very simple steps just i followed only five simple steps to create service now account if you want to create your own account please follow my video to create your own account start your practice and enjoy your practice in service now so thanks for your time have a great day